Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today, doing uh, continuing my 2021 year-end top 10s as we look at my number seven middleweight in the world right now. He is still the reigning WBA super champion, Ryota Murata. Um, Murata entered the year coming off of 2020 where he did not fight at all. COVID really held him down because of travel restrictions, but he didn't even defend his title in his home country of Japan. And, you know, he's uh, he, he had an opportunity at Canelo earlier in the year. It looked like he was going to get a Canelo Alvarez fight, but that fight fell through. Part of the reason was the travel restrictions. Excuse me. But in, uh, you know, 2021, he came in hoping for a big fight. And actually on New Year's Eve, he was supposed to get Triple G to close out the year or right before New Year's Eve, uh, the week before, he was going to get Triple G in a unification title fight. But he, um, uh, I think somebody, it's something to do with the travel restrictions or somebody got injured. The fight got postponed and pushed back. And now they're talking about March or April. So Ryota Murata, by the time he comes back, is going to be out of the ring for nearly two and a half years when he takes on Triple G and a unification bout if that fight goes forward that's a big big tall order right there now triple g will have been out for close to a year and a half but still he at least he's fought you know um you know in that time frame so these are two guys that haven't really had a lot of um you know had a lot of fights the last couple years i know covid ha is the most major reason for that but these are two older fighters you know riota Murata, he was number six last year he drops one spot from number seven he's 35 years old now um, he's a two-time champ, you know, holding on to this belt. He was upgraded in 2021 to champ, but has not fought yet. And his overall record right now, though, is um, is a pretty good one. He's a he's a I'm, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank here. He's 16 and two with 13 knockouts. So we know Murata brings the punch, and he's going to need that against Triple G. But after two and a half years off, can he compete even with a 39-year-old? Uh, Gennady Golovkin, can he st stand in there, in there and secure an upset victory and become a unified champion? If he can, that could lead to a Canelo fight. You know, I think Canelo's really looking closely at Murata and Triple G because he was on the verge of fighting Murata already. And if Murata could pull off an upset over Triple G in a unification bout, I think that sends him straight to super middleweight to challenge uh, Canelo Alvarez in September, most likely. You know, I really think the winner of that fight, if they look good, can can really get an opportunity. A loss is going to hurt him. It'll set him back for sure. And he's going to have to start over from scratch. And to be honest, I think he's going to lose the Triple G. But I do think he's a live underdog. He has a puncher's chance. And I wouldn't completely rule him out against a uh, Triple G who's getting uh, older. You know, so we're going to see. That's uh, hopefully March or April. They haven't uh, secured a date yet. But March or April... He's supposed to be unifying belts with Triple G Gennady Golovkin. And if he can, again, I think Canelo's a possibility. And there's also mandatories. There's Arizona Lara, who's got a name. There's Chris, possibly Chris Eubank Jr., who's fighting Liam Williams in February. I think if Rio de Murata pulls out the upset, only uh, good, solid fights are to follow against Triple G. I mean, uh, against other opposition after Triple G. So we're going to see what happens. March or April, you should be seeing Ryota Murata finally return to unify titles against Triple G Gennady Golovkin in a big time fight to determine who the top dog at middleweight is at 160 pounds. So my 2021 year end top tens continue. This was my number seven middleweight in the world right now at 160 pounds, the WBA super champion Ryota Murata of Japan. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been here with the truth.